Have you ever compared your body image or your appearance to someone on social media? Chances are you probably have at least once in your life, if not multiple times in your life. Um, according to Florida House Experience, a health institution, they surveyed a thousand men and women and focused on their body image, confidence, and the media. The study found that 87% of women and 65% of men uh, would compare their body image to um, media content. 60% of 10,000 women and girls from 13 different countries were interviewed from the, for the 2016 Dove Global Beauty and Confidence and they reported that um, you know, 60% of them felt the need to meet society's beauty standards. These numbers are huge. Um, and why is it that they're mainly even bigger in women and teenagers? Well, first, um, we have to define what body image means. What is body image? According to Gail Opposing Viewpoints, um, body image describes the way a person views his or her physical appearance and now that point of view affects his or her sense a self-worth. Body image includes both how a person looks and how a person feels and acts in response to his or her perceived appearance. Social media is severely affecting people's body image. This brings me to my argument. Social media is causing serious body Im image issues and setting unrealistic beauty standards for people that consume social media and especially in women and teenagers. Let's keep in mind what body image means. I defined it as how people view themselves and their appearance. This is important to understand why social media is severely affecting people's body image. Social media is widely focused on their body image and appearance, as we can see on social media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. The body image and the um, beauty standards being pushed by social media vary depending on the user or holder. For example, in women, the body image um, is can be seen as slim body and white features such as a small nose or straight hair. And in men, it can be um, a toned fit body and also being tall. However, these beauty standards are more heavily pushed towards women. The physical appearance of a woman has been something that is not new. It is pushed a lot in society for a woman to look presentable and look decent and take care of their appearance. Social media doesn't help with this. When you go on social media, you're blasted with unrealistic beauty standards push upon women. So many celebrities and big influencers um, use Photoshop or apps to change their physical appearance, whether it be to enhance something or make themselves look um, completely perfect, which only pushes the narrative that that people have to look like this. I have to look like this and something's wrong if I don't look like this. And this is the impression that many women get. An example of this would be Fitspiration, which is a trend referring to social media posts depicting women working out or emphasizing their body tone or muscularity. Frances Bosky, a doctoral candidate in clinical health and psychology at the University of Missouri, Kansas City argues how instead of Fitzbo's stated goal, which is motivate women to engage in health and fitness, instead promotes very thin models. Instead of encouraging women to uh, do these goals, to be more active and fit, um, Fitspiration is mainly associated with eating disorders. This leads me to my other point. Another problem that this dilemma brings is that 
is an increase of eating disorders. The focus of body image and obtaining the beauty standards put people at risk at, for developing an eating disorder. It can also lead to body dysmorphic disorder, which is a mental condition. However, not only does it affect women, as I previously mentioned, it also um, severely affects teenagers. Teenagers are at a phase of growth where many do not have control of how they will look like. They are developing and growing rapidly and their hormones, hormones are all over the place. Because of this, teenagers are more prone to developing eating disorders. There has been a recent increase of online communities that promote eating disorders. In January 31, 2015, a study was done to collect eating disorders or body image related keywords um, on Twitter. The study found that 2,584 of those 3,000 words were eating disorder related and 65% of those expressed preoccupation with body shape or body image. This all points to how uh, social media is causing serious body image issues to our community. Now, what can be done to solve this dilemma? Well, there's multiple um, solutions to this problem. On a personal level, it would be best if you struggle with body image issues because of social media to take a break and distance yourself from social media. Many who have taken breaks because of this come back feeling a lot better after taking breaks of social media and it is, it is, and it is always important to consider taking breaks from social media to make sure that you are not harming yourself. On an international level, changing societal norms uh, would really help with body image issues according to national eating disorders. If all of these actions are taken, uh, we can start to see a shift of how people perceive their body image. For example, a YouTuber um, named Salem Tovar um, expressed recently in her video how her body dysmorphia was being highly influenced by social media and by taking a break, um, it really helped her body dysmorphia get a lot better. I will now show you a clip of her talking about her experience. Anyone who is watching this video who feels like they're on their last string, <laughs> that social media has been ruining how they perceive themselves or others around you. I want you to take this as a sign to take a break. Take a break from social media. I cannot be more grateful to my past self that I decided to get help and take my break and work on myself. I'm not even gonna say. With that, I hope that I have convinced you that social media is, is really affecting body image. As I stated, social media, without a doubt, is causing serious body image issues, as well as um, beauty standards. From body dysmorphia to eating disorders, social media has really caused a lot of damage in this area and really just pushed a false narrative. With that being said, thank you for listening to my speech and um, I hope that I have educated and convinced you that social media is a problem towards body image issues.